Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 23 bread and butter bolos coming your way. These are items that I picked up at thrift stores or garage sales, items that I bought low and sold for decent margins. They're not my big money items. These are bread and butter items. And we're gonna get started here and I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. And this is just a short video. There's only 23, so um, let's get my screen share up here. The first item I sold is this Brat Styling Head Makeover Star Base MGA um, Entertainment. And it's a Bratz head and, you know, you can fix her hair and, you know, brush it and all of that good stuff. Uh, this came from a garage sale and I bought a ton of Bratz stuff. And I actually just recently got the other items listed. But this one sold at auction for $29.99. I was hoping it was going to go higher. I probably would have gotten more if I would have done a buy it now or best offer. But I was happy with it. I probably had a buck or two in it and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this 1996 Pleasant Company American Girl Cheerleader Outfit. This is retired. It's just the skirt and the bottom and the pom-poms. And I sold this for $20.70 in the buyer paid shipping. This um, I picked up in a lot of American Girl stuff. So I probably had a buck or two in it. Barbie Coleman camping set. I believe this came out of that toy mystery box. Um, I'm trying to remember. Is that that? I think. Either that or it was another a garage sale find where I picked up a bunch of Barbie stuff. Um, but I sold this for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. So I basically picked Coleman items and just made a small lot. The next item I sold is this Wishnik Ideal uh, Troll Vinyl Carrying Case. This came in a bulk lot of toys that I picked up and I sold this for $19 plus shipping. I sold this Fisher Price phone. This came from, um, I bought a lot of Fisher Price items and it was for a fundraiser. And I have a video on that if you wanna see what else I got. But I sold this for $15 plus shipping. And this was another item that was in that lot. And this is not something I would have picked up, but I did decide that I was gonna try to list as many items out of that purchase to try to make back the money that I spent on it. And I think I spent $80 on the whole lot. So this was another item that I sold. And I sold one other item. I think I've sold three items so far. And this sold for $10.80. I think this might've went internationally. And again, I wouldn't have picked this up because the condition is not that great, but I ended up selling it for $10.80 and the buyer paid shipping. So I'm really happy with that. The next item is this Madam Alexander Big Bad Wolf, and it goes with um, the Madam Alexander doll, and it's the wolf only. And I picked this up at a garage sale, I believe it was a buck, and I sold it for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. These American Girl, these are the miniature dolls. They're only like this big. Um, these came from a garage sale. I think I had like a buck in both of them and I sold those for $19 plus shipping. American Girl Bitty Baby Ballerina Nightgown. Now this does have a stain on the front and I disclosed it, but I think the reason this went, um, people kept emailing me wanting just this little globe. So even the accessories, um, can do really, really well. So definitely be on the lookout for those. I took a best offer of $19 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this yo-yo made in Japan. I was hoping this was going to be like a big money bolo, but um, it only went for $10, but that's okay. I picked it up. I believe that was from an estate sale and I got it for probably 50 cents or something like that. Actually, you know what? It might have been a garage sale. Either way, it was it was a dollar or less. The next item is this vintage elf Christmas ornament, and it's made in Japan. It's putts, and it's sitting on like a little pine cone. And I took a best offer of twenty one dollars on this, and the buyer paid shipping. This came from a thrift store and a bunch of putts items that I picked up. This American Girl Starry Doll Stand came in American Girl bulk buy that I got at a garage sale. I bought like all their American Girl stuff. 
So I probably had a couple bucks in it. I sold this for $31.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This press and see came from a thrift store. It was a dollar. I believe it was half off. So I got it for about 50 cents. It did end up having a crack on the back. So I priced it kind of low and it sold for $13.50 plus shipping. The next item I picked up at a garage sale for a buck or two and I auctioned it. It went for, it only got one bid, but it was a buck or two and I sold it for $34.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And you know, the condition was not like great. It wasn't bad, but it, you know, it had some fading and stuff. So I was happy to get $34.99 out of it. These gold toe men's socks came from a thrift store. I think I paid a dollar for them and they sold for $13.50 and the buyer paid shipping and they sold pretty quick. This little calico critters, I believe, came from a garage sale and it was like a dollar. It was either a garage sale or a thrift store. I remember correctly, it was a dollar. And I sold this for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. This little bunny. Um, it's like a little sleeping bunny. Isn't it cute? It's creative concepts plush and um, I Usually pay a dollar or less for my plush I think this came from a garage sale and it sold for $12 plus shipping This Boyd's bear I always do really well with the little Boyd's bear. They're about that big and This guy came from a garage sale. I, he was like 50 cents and I sold him for $11 plus shipping and he sold pretty fast. This Barbie I picked up at a garage sale for two bucks and it's the happy birthday Barbie from 1993 and she only has part of her box and I took a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Flameless candles, these are Lucite, I love them. I pick them up whenever I see them. They're usually a quick sale and they go for decent money. I took a best offer of $30 on these and the buyer paid shipping. They did open a return because they said the flakes did not match the flakes and the ones they had at home, but they never returned it. So um, the sale ended up going through and eBay closed it out because they never returned the item. So I did sell those for $30 plus shipping. And I felt like I did close ups to show the flakes, but um, I guess. And maybe it was a different color or I don't know. Some they, they vary. They do vary. The next item I picked up at a thrift store for a buck. And this is like an angel tree topper. It's got a porcelain head and it's got holds the little candles. And I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. This Bob Books lot. I believe I had less than a dollar in this total lot. And I sold this for $20 plus shipping, and I picked it up at a thrift store. This vintage doll Mary makeup blonde doll with her dress, I sold her for $11 plus shipping, and I picked her up at a garage sale for like a buck. All right, you guys, that was a short video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to go check out my other videos. I have category videos featured seller videos. I have bread and butter videos, big money bolo videos. So go check them out. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.